Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher and today we're talking about the Manfrotto Zoom filter holders. So let's get into it. Today I'm making a really quick kind of different video, just mainly talking about these Manfrotto Zoom filter holders. And basically what these are is they allow you to change filters on a run and gun kind of scenario. So most of my shoots are really quick, they're run and gun, and a lot of them, you know, I'm changing ND filters and of course it takes forever to, you know, screw them on and off a lens. So I wanted to look into some type of system that would easily be able to either snap them on and off. And I thought about a matte box, but the issue with the matte box is, of course, it's a lot bigger, it's bulkier, it takes more time to switch your lenses, so that actually becomes a little bit harder. And I finally settled on these Manfrotto Zoom um, filters. And what they do is they come either in singles or in a kit. And in a kit, you get one filter, or you get two filter holders, so you get two for the actual filters themselves, and then you get one on your lens. And to kind of show you what they look like, Here's an ND filter, and I don't know if you can really see that, but it's very small, and basically they just thread on to the back of your ND filters, and that has the holder. And what it is on the back is that is actually a magnetic little plate that's inside there. Then you screw on the one that goes onto your lens, and what that allows you to do is to magnetically snap on ND filters, and they pop off easily. But the thing is, they're on there. They're not going anywhere. They're not gonna fall off. Um, so this is really nice because it allows me to move in between ND filters, uh, maybe a circular polarizer, or a bunch of different filters. So I've been pretty impressed with these. Now there is some downsides. One of the biggest downsides is these are fairly expensive. For a kit of three, which is your one lens filter holder, and then, or excuse me, your one lens adapter and two filter holders, is about 50 bucks. So for someone like me who has three different lenses and about four to five different filters, it was around $150 to get these, which granted in the scheme of things is a pretty low expense because of course the actual functionality that you do get from now be able to easily snap these on and off. But two of my biggest gripes are actually the fact that you can't stack these. So unfortunately you can't put two ND filters or an ND filter and a circular polarizer or an ND filter and maybe a specialty like Black Pro Mist filter or something. You can only use one at a time. So that's slightly annoying, especially because sometimes I wanna use an ND filter and a circular polarizer or an ND filter and I have an anamorphic filter or a black pro mist. So unfortunately I can't use those at the same time. Now most of those I'm never using in complete run and gun situations. So I can easily just kinda of unscrew and screw them back on. Um, and the other thing that kind of bothers me about them is you can't fit your lens cap on there correctly. Um, it doesn't sit in there normally. Uh, so what I would personally do is get the sleeve lens covers, the ones that slip on top. But otherwise, they're pretty awesome. You know, they work just as they're marketed. They stick on there perfectly. They're definitely not going anywhere. Um, I really do love how you get this satisfying kind of click when it clicks together. You can definitely tell that they're on there strong. They're built very nicely. The threading's really quality. So they're definitely an awesome product. Again, it's just something you have to think about. Is it worth the money for you? And are you generally stacking filters? Because if you are, I'd probably look into a different system. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be sure to leave links down below in the description. And be on the watch for Tuesday, we're gonna be coming out with our Hedge video, which Hedge is a program that's all about data transfer. So stay tuned for that. I'm also gonna have some behind the scenes breakdowns hopefully coming soon, as well as a review of the small HD Focus and some cool features that you may, may not know about or how to use it, as well as the Aperture 300D, which I actually just got here. So I'm gonna to try to make them different videos about stuff that you normally don't see in your typical reviews. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll catch you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.